don't end your lines on the one. Don't play without articulation. Don't limit yourself to boring rhythm. Looking at how Charlie Parker makes his solo ever fresh by almost never ending his lines on the one. He has all these ways to resolve his lines to the beats or the off beats. Maybe this is also why the term bebop is invented. Bebop makes it pop. It's quite obvious why we always want to play to the one of the bar. Everything we see in the music schemes are very straight and very square. The systematics are very clear and our brain always want to order things. Looking at a simple 2-5-1 line in C. Ending smack hard on that one. I really want to avoid this sound because it's boring and predictable. And if we ever learn something of Charlie Parker, it's quite the opposite of predictable and boring. How to be creative and innovative. How do you avoid resolving to the one? Quite simple. Do not play the one. The piano player is playing that chord anyways. He already resolved the chord. Cut the line short. You don't want to overplay. In this line, I resolve to the forehand in the dominant bar. And the piano player saves us again by playing the resolution to the chord. Another option is pulling some of the G7 chord into the C major bar, postponing this resolution. Still not playing the one, keep elaborating and resolve in the second bar on the one hand. Another great practice of not resolving to the one are playing more rhythmical with fewer notes. And as an exercise, avoid playing the one in all the bars. Check the Patreon and download these exercises and 251 licks, training you to hit all the other beats in the bar. Playing with less or no articulation is a no-go. You need to play with great articulation in your lines to give your lines exactly that purpose and direction. Playing a line like this, you see I add the articulation on almost all the notes. But the high notes in the line gets a little extra. You probably also notice I give certain target notes a little extra. Your target notes are the ones you want to emphasize extra. A basic way to train your articulation is playing basic material on a 251, for example. Go really slow in the beginning and practice this with a metronome to get the right timing. You probably want your articulation on all the notes. The first of two eight notes are less articulated, whereas the second one is more heavily articulated. Getting into this great swing feel. Remember to challenge your technical level on this. Turn around the scales, for example, play it from the 9th to the 3rd on all the chords. You can download the full lesson transcription on my Patreon and you'll find all these articulation exercises and licks with written in articulation. This line could come from this. Which is much more boring. One of the most important game changers in making your lines interesting is changing the speed in the line. For example, just playing the arpeggios up. There are tons of ways to speed these up. Like these. On the Patreon I have added all these exercises, how you can speed up your arpeggios. Everything is in all 12 keys. Change the rhythm. This lick is heavily influenced by speeding up some of the arpeggios. But when you dissect the material, you see it's pretty simple. The first bar, the D minor 7 bar, is just a D minor 11 chord. Halfway is added a chromatic approach note, the G sharp. The C sharp in the end of the bar is a leading tone towards the D. The trill, the E and the F is a part of this encircling C sharp E towards the D. All this A flat minor stuff on that G7 is basically a tritone substitution. I'm just playing the A flat minor scale. It's a tritone substitution A flat minor D flat 7. The last part is almost only C major 9, with only one chromatic approach note, the D sharp. You want to check more phrasing, rhythm, and timing out? Check these videos. Play music, have fun.